Okay, so here we are back to um, insert some holes in that piece here. But um, I made a mistake in the in the last video. So let me open up the outliner. Let me select that little cylinder here and let's delete that. So we need to, to create another one, a new one, because of the sides of that. Um, that's uh, not a big deal. So let's create a new one here, polygon cylinder, bring it down. And let's rotate that uh, again in Z 90 degrees. This time we change the subdivision axis to eight, and that was the mistake we or I did the last time, uh, last video. And now let's um, bring this guy here into the center um, of that um, main piece. So hit V, middle mouse over this point, and then we go in and scale that guy down to a size where we want to have it. So this is actually the, in the end the size of that hole I want to punch in there. So let's do something like like this. Okay, a little larger. Okay, so then, uh, then move that guy out and let's uh, select all of those faces of that guy again and then deselect the center faces and then delete the caps. So with that cylinder here um, created, um, let's move it like we did in the last video and then let's again take those words and bring it um, on the same level as um, the face here on the side and the other side. Okay, so we fixed that. Now we have to insert some um, more edge loops here on that main piece. So let's go to object mode, select that, and insert an edge loop. So if you insert it uh, somewhere about here, you we take a look at the inputs here, and his, it has a weight of, uh, let's ease it up to uh, 0.82. Okay, so just remember that number. and. Um, add in uh, a split here on the other side and uh, dial in that number 0.82 so we have the splits here on the exact same uh, spot on both sides and we do it down below so insert a split here and um, from that number that we had uh, just a 0.82 I know if I want to have the same distance between this point here and um, the, the, the split here um, we have to type in 0.18 all right and we do the same here on the other side insert an edge loop and dial in that number here in the inputs 0.18 okay so now we are ready to connect this together so to do this so go to face mode select uh, four faces here on this side and the other side and delete those and uh, from here on if you follow me um, the whole tutorial you might know what I'm doing right now so I select this object and the main piece here and I say combine with those combined we can go in and use our bridge tool so select go to edge mode select uh, this border edge double click on that and select the corresponding border edge here double click on that as well okay so now go in here under polygons tab and go to edit mesh and check out the bridge tool options box three subdivisions uh, should work fine let's apply that okay so something is going on here so let's uh, try to rotate that uh, bridge here bridge offset middle mouse rotate that okay obviously we have a problem here and that's uh, because of the normals okay so let me undo that that bridge let's check out the normals of uh, the object here so I've got the face normals on and off here on my shelf. You'll find it, um, I think I showed you that, under display, um, polygons, and then here face normals. So hit control shift and click on that and you will have that button on your shelf. Okay, so let me turn that on. Okay, that is, okay, yeah. So the problem is that the normals of that cylinder here are uh, sticking outside. So uh, in this direction here. And yeah, let's um, turn those face normals on and off just to see it a little bit better. And then we select the faces of that cylinder here. And um, yeah, right now I am I'm just recognizing that um, we should have duplicated this cylinder here. So with the with that, um, let me just go some steps back here 
um, until we are at the point where we combine those two objects. So that's uh, this one here. So now um, we can uh, show the face normals here and you see they're sticking out. And th so we have to reverse the normals. So if you have that object selected, go to normals and say reverse. Now they're pointing in the right direction. So with um, that cylinder selected, let's hit control D to copy that guy and then just move it out of the way. So I'm right about there. And now we um, do again the step here, uh, select both objects, combine, uh, let's turn off face normals, and then we go here, the same step as before, double click on uh, that border edge here, double click on the corresponding border edge, and then use our bridge tool under edit mesh, go to the options, three divisions, apply. Okay, this time it's a little bit screwed up, but we can fix that by the, with the bridge offset. So select, uh, click on that bridge offset, and then middle mouse, and rotate that until it uh, gets uh, nice and clean here. And this is um, yeah, this is the one side that worked out well. And now let's um, do the same here on the uh, on the on the back side. So double click uh, on the border edge here. Double click on the corresponding border edge, and then go to Edit Mesh Bridge. And again, change the bridge offset here. Click on that middle mouse and rotate that. Like, th like this. Okay, so now we have um, that piece here, and if you hit a three, you get a nice rounded hole in there. Um, to shape that out a little bit more, you can go in and say, okay, um, select this edge here, and then control right click, edge ring utilities, and split. And to give it a little bit more definition, set it under the inputs here from relative to multi. And now let's hit um, select the object, hit 3, and there you go. You get a nice rounded hole. Let me turn off wireframe or shade it. Um, yeah, in a squared type of geometry. And um, yeah, I want to repeat this process here. Um, I want to repeat that um, for. Um, yeah, I will put in one hole. Um, let me turn on my frame and shade it. I will put in one here and one here and finally one here. So that we have all together one, let me count that one, two, three. Yeah, we have seven, in the end we, g we have seven holes in there. Okay. Um, so now you know how that works. And I think, um, yeah, it would be just uh, time consuming uh, doing this uh, and recording this. So I will this um, I will do this, and then I'll be back in the next video when I'm done with uh, all the seven holes. But if you're using the same technique as we used before, and don't forget to, to copy that cylinder um, as many times as, as you want it. And another thing is when you bring um, this cylinder, for uh, instance. Um, to somewhere about here, and you bring it in, in <coughs> into the center here, um, you will notice that you have to slightly rotate that guy, yeah, to bring it here into position. So, and that's what you have to do before you um, do the bridge tool and before you combine uh, the cylinder with um, the main object. Okay, so that's something you have to know if uh, you're going on or follow me. But if you don't want to, you just leave leave the leave the holes, so you don't need them. I mean, like I said before, um, it's something we don't really want to render. And um, I mean, if you take a closer look on what I did here, um, that hole is not perfectly perfect. Uh, that's because of the geometry here. So the geometry here is, um, yeah. Um, you get the edges here very close to that hole and on the left and the right side um, they're a little bit more far away so that's giving us this result here okay but in the end if you take it from up here and uh, we, we're going to render this maybe from this point of view or angle of view so you won't notice that this hole is not perfect okay all right, so let me pause the, this video and um, yeah, I'll finish the holes up um, and then I'll be back.